grim jobs figures from the U.S. Employers hired far fewer people than expected. In August, payrolls increased by just 96,000. In July, the total of new jobs created had been 141,000, but the June and July numbers were also revised downwards. The unemployment rate, which is calculated from a survey of households, dropped to 8.1% of the working population from 8.3% in July, but officials said that was largely due to Americans giving up the search for work. This is a big blow for President Obama, who's seeking re-election in November. His Republican opponent, Mitt Romney, seized on the weak numbers, saying after 43 straight months of unemployment above 8%, President Obama hasn't lived up to his promises. Lack of progress in getting Americans back to work makes it more likely the U.S. Central Bank, the Federal Reserve, will opt for further monetary stimulus at its September policy meeting to try to boost the sluggish economy. Fed Chairman Ben Bernanke recently said the jobs market was a grave concern.